Hello. Today I'd like to show you how to use some prairie points to make a kind of a 3D type um, pinwheel block. Um, so, and I'm actually using some five inch squares for these. Now I know that will come as a surprise to some people, but the five inch squares just worked. I wasn't going to do it with five inch squares, but they just seem to work. So these are sewn into the seam. So to get our points, I've got five inch squares of my yellow and I've got five inch squares of the gray. So I'm going to just quickly show you how I've um, folded these to get those nice triangles. Um, so I've got some triangles already made here. So starting with a five inch square, um, I'm going to fold that over in half and I'm just going to press that. And then what I'm, there's, there's different ways of doing prairie points and I'm not really sure about why there's different ways, but the way I'm choosing to do it is this way. Um, so we folded, the square in half so we've now got a rectangle with a fold down one side and I just want to finger press I want to know where the center is so I've made a little finger press mark there because I want to bring that down folding from that center point down and making sure that it comes out through the points on the diagonal here and I'm just going to quickly press that and then I want to do the same on the other side so that you get a very nice point at the top and it should come right out to the sides like that. So just mind you don't burn your fingers, that's not a helpful thing at all. And definitely not comfortable. So there's my point. So, so I've already pressed the other three that I need for the block. And so it's, it's quite a tidy little um, way of doing it. This is going to be my underside with that little join, but everything's folded and enclosed. So it's, it's a nice little way to do it. So to make this little pinwheel block, I'm going to start off by laying out my five inch squares and I want my pinwheels to go around this way so this edge this long edge on the triangle will be this, pretty much the same size as your five inch square because it was also a five inch square um, and I want this one to come out this way so I'm going to lay that one down here so we're just doing the top and the bottom ones at the moment we'll leave those just for a minute so we, we need to sew those into the seam so I'm going to lay the fabrics right sides together and so all the raw edges are even. And I'm going to take these to the sewing machine and I'm just going to pop them through with my quarter inch seam allowance. Now your, your yellow or your pinwheel blade should sit in so that all the seams, the, sorry, the edges are quite level so that it will come in quarter of an inch before the yellow starts from the seam so that when you do your next seam across everything's in the right place. So just a quarter inch seam allowance, just sew all the way down through all layers, and the same with the next one. snip those apart and I'm going to press those. Now it's quite bulky this uh, with all this folded fabric in there and I want the seam, I want the pinwheel to, sorry, the point to press with the little folded edge bit underneath so that means that the seam has to go that way, so I'll probably turn it around and lay that down and press that seam over that way so that that sits down that way and then same thing on the other one so I want that to be laying down so that I've got the smooth side up and that's looking great we might turn it round and that's looking great even a quilt with those would look really nice but then I thought well we better go on with the rest of the little pinwheel so we're going to lay that on there and on there now this is a little bit tighter because we've kind of already sewn a seam in there but this will, it will still work we're just going to have a quite a bulky point in the middle there and so I'm going to actually lay this one down here so they should so one should have the smooth side up and one should have your little joined area up and then this one goes over the top so you may want to use a couple of pins to hold all this together because it is quite bulky and that middle bit is going to be quite tricky so now I'm going to go to the sewing machine and do my quarter inch seam allowance all the way along. 
just keeping an eye on everything sitting where it should do. So when I get close to the middle, I want to have a little look and make sure that all my seams are matching and my points are sitting where they should and those corners, which if you've put a pin in probably would already be there. And just continue on the rest of the way. So that's all looking fairly reasonable. The points can be a little bit tricky at times and you may find you've got to snip a little bit of this seam allowance just to make that sit because it's going to have to change direction there. Don't snip your stitching though. Okay so now I'm going to press that. So I've got my pinwheels going all the way around. Now I haven't quite got my centre quite as good as I'd like but I'm not too worried because in actual fact I'm probably going to pop buttons in the middle of my pinwheels. Oops, I've lost a point somehow. So this is quite an acceptable looking pinwheel. So I've now got two pinwheels and I could do something nice with those. I could even tilt them, have them going all over the place. Um, but I just thought you might like to see that so that your seams are sitting basically going around in the same direction as, as your pinwheel blades which they need to do because of all that bulk. Um, if you were going to be quilting that you could quilt under the flaps um, as well and I just think you'll find that that's quite a fun little idea. It was really just an idea yet again to do something with some five inch squares and I just love that yellow and grey together. So I hope that um, helps in some way and thank you.